Guardian Games is back for another round, and I gotta say, even though it has siphoned all of the bright dust out of my wallet, as it was probably designed to do, I'm actually pleasantly surprised by how good it is this year. For those that weren't with us for the last year or didn't play during the event, Guardian Games is an event where all three classes fight for bragging rights by ways of a statue in the tower riveting reward, I know. The system is based around medals that you collect from playing the game, completing bounties, etc. Usually they add an event playlist and call it a day, but Bungie actually decided to give us genuine content for this year's Guardian games. First, let's start with a quick refresher for those that haven't actually played Guardian games. Skip to the timecode on screen if you want to get into the new stuff. When loading into the tower, you will receive your Guardian games class item. I'm just going to start saying GG from now on because Guardian games is exhausting to say. To gain any of the event currency that kind of makes GG work, when you wear this class item, any activities completed will grant you medals. These range from bronze to platinum, and they all rank in ascending difficulty and give different scores. Medals of higher tiers will come from bounties Eva serves up, as well as separate systems being the competitive playlist. This playlist is unlocked after completing the intro quest Ava gives you and is where you'll be obtaining most of your loot. Once queued into the competitive playlist, your score at the end of the activity will be compared across all other guardians that have been participating in guardian games. The higher the score, the higher the ranks you'll be. Those within a certain rank rank will receive some bonus rewards and medals at the end of the week and it refreshes every week until Guardian Games is done. You also gain the loot from these braziers behind the podium and a decent chunk of it too. I got an Ascendant Shard from the final one, so it's actually pretty good. You've also got your event challenges, yada yada. It's basically if you want a title or some extra loot, go for it. But yeah, that's, a, that's Guardian Games in a nutshell. Now let's talk about the new stuff. Well, this technically isn't new content. The addition of Supremacy as the new playlist is really nice. I really enjoy the chaos of Supremacy as it kind of forces you to play more aggressively, so my grapple melee playstyle is really showing the advantage here. Also, can we just give a round of applause for Bungo to actually add Crucible content? I know it's kind of a dead horse to beat down, but Crucible gets fucking nothing every year and having it get some content in guardian games is absolutely great i love it i do really hope supremacy stays in the crucible when guardian games is over seeing as that's more content in the crucible better chance of appeasing the d2 twitter overlords but also just i enjoy supremacy over control i don't like control it's very slow it's very drawn out so having a fast-paced aggressive game mode is incredibly refreshing for me as for the competitive playlist i don't doubt that people will find a way to cheese the score a bit actually they might already have i can't even tell but overall i think as something to tide me over for a week or two waiting for the next season you did uh, you did pretty good bongo Good job. Thumbs up. As far as loot is concerned, I'm not sure if this was a feature in last year's Guardian games, but by playing the competitive playlist, you actually can get the Nightfall weapons. So not only are you grinding for Nightfall weapons, you're also grinding for Guardian games at the same time, which I think is an ingenious way of doing it. Because if I'm going to be playing Guardian games in the competitive playlist, which is basically the Nightfall, it only makes sense to give me Nightfall loot and Guardian Games loot. As far as the loot from Guardian Games, you have a new scout rifle, and then you have the SMG from last year. The SMG is actually pretty good, but the archetype's kind of stinky. I don't really like that much. And the scout rifle is a strand hung jury. Always good to see some more strand primaries so I can just fuck shit up with tangles. The origin trait for these weapons is actually also pretty good, that being classy contender, where final blows with the weapon will grant ability energy for your class ability. I think it's pretty nice considering strand is mainly revolving around your class ability at least for the stuff i play that being titan and hunter so being able to swan dive into people like a b-52 bomber is more than fun for me so i appreciate it some more tiny things that actually make guardian games quite a bit better is the competitive playlist can be separated you can play by yourself non-matchmade matchmade or not even participate in the competitiveness of it same thing with the normal playlist you can choose to participate in guardian games or you can just play the playlist as it is 
you don't even need to do that. Giving players the choice to engage with the content is fine by me. It doesn't really affect me that much, and it means that more people get to play the way they want to play, which is always good. Got some concerns about difficulty, which I'm sure will be ironed out next week when they roll out the Legend or Master modifiers for the competitive playlist. Everything's a bit too easy. The, the power cap for the competitive playlist and the normal playlist are 1765, I think. So things are definitely a bit of a pushover, but seeing as it's meant to be a seasonal event and not meant to be grandmasters on steroids, I'm fine with it for the most part, but I've been conditioned by, you know, the, the Vanguard Ops playlist and Neo Muna to actually think about what I'm doing. This is just brain dead fun, which I mean is fine. I guess it's a seasonal event, so everyone gets to have fun being brain dead for a, a week or two. But yeah, just something I thought I'd mention that hopefully the difficulty options are improved later into the event, because I know they did last year where you could pick, I think it was Legend or Master difficulty for the competitive playlist. I'm not sure if they're going to do that this year, but we'll see. Let's talk the armor of Guardian games because that's what most people is going to end up spending their money on. I think it looks good. Uh, we got DJ Titan. That's always nice. My only problem with the armor is typically in Guardian Games fashion. They suck with shaders. They don't work at all with most shaders. There's also plenty of uncolorable stripes like the, the Guardian Games patterns, the red, yellow, and blue. You can't typically shade over those, which is incredibly annoying, especially when I'm trying to make a, like a consistent look with the shader. Same thing with the class item, though it's less egregious this year, but you can't really shade the metal piece on the back, which I mean is meant to represent your class's place in the competition or whatever. It's just really annoying because whenever I try to make myself look good, I can't because it just looks like shit. All right, that's basically all I wanted to talk about as far as Guardian games. I think Bungie did a really good job. Thumbs up. Actual content, the armor looks pretty good. You've got some things that are ironed out as far as the metal system is concerned. You've got a brand new title to chase. It's, it's just a lot of good stuff. Thumbs up all around, Bungo. You did really good this year. But yeah, that's going to be all from me. I'm working on a video testing every single super in the game in terms of DPS. So if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe to keep up for when that video comes out. We're getting very close to it getting done. It's around like 30 minutes long almost, I think. So it's going to be a big boy. I will also have my Discord linked down in the pinned comment if you want to participate in that. It's more laid back, pretty chill, a lot of people in there just chatting it up, so if you're interested in that, hop on down there. But yep, that's all from me. Thank you so much for watching, like the video, subscribe, go watch my other stuff, and goodbye.